Hello everybody and welcome back to a Morgancourt Advent. You may notice that I'm wearing last year's Christmas sweater, Mighty Craftsmas, because at this point in time, I still haven't washed the new one. Anyway, it is time for us to do the Advent calendars that I actually have before the season. One of them is relatively simple and probably won't occur on camera because it's stuffed with chocolate. And I am going to eat all of these chocolates because they are my favorite. I will eat one to demonstrate. These are the best chocolates ever. Also, when I eat the chocolate, it forms an image. So I will I will do them throughout the thing and I will show you the completed image at the end of it. So, get excited for that. Anyway, these are like my favorite. Andy's like mint chocolate. Oh, they're so good. Uh, this isn't sponsored, but if it was, eat Andy's. Anyway, mmm, mmm, it's good. Mmm, now. This year's advent calendar is a bit different than the previous years because unlike uh, the previous years where it gave us ideas of things to do for each day of the season, this instead tells us a story. So I'm going to read this week's portion of the story and at the end of each of the weeks for the advent season, I will read the next part of the story. So let us begin. It is the first of December and the North Pole is humming. Every creature is stirring cause Christmas is coming. There's a lot to be done before Santa can leave on that round-the-world journey he makes Christmas Eve. Where's day three? The mail gets delivered to Santa's front door by dozens of dog sleds each day more and more. He reads all the wish lists that come with each letter. Have you sent him yours yet? The sooner, the better. The elves trim the tree. It's a beautiful sight. Mrs. Claus oohs and ahs when they switch on the lights. For the folks at the pole, it is a fun celebration, the putting up holly and bright decorations. They're stringing up popcorn and having a ball. Are you hanging your stocking and decking the hall? That is the first week of the story, and I do want to talk about The mail gets delivered to Santa's front door by dozens of dog sleds each day more and more. The letters are delivered to Santa by dog sled. That makes a certain amount of sense, but... I never actually thought about how the letters get there because I just assumed it was the um, mailman at the beginning of the year without Santa Claus, uh, who's voiced by Fred Astaire. I just assumed he delivered all the letters. Um, but dog sleds makes, makes a bit more sense. Well, I suppose if Santa moved into the modern age, he'd be getting his letters delivered by snowmobile. Anyway, that concludes this first week. I am going to basically eat a bunch of candy and sort this out because I am starving for candy. And I will see you all tomorrow for the next day in the Advent. Have a good one, guys.